Uh, we're going to move on to our consensus wide receiver 15, DK Metcalf, which I'm going to have to call out Jake because he is easily the lowest amongst us on DK Metcalf. I'll say my piece first in that um, straight up alpha in that offense um, really commanded a large amount of targets last year, more than he actually has in the offense previously. We saw a little bit of different part of his game this past year where they were doing a lot more, just looking to get it in his hands a lot. And he's a prime candidate for some touchdown regression after last year based on the amount of red zone opportunities, end zone opportunities he had and just not converting on him like he normally does. I think he could be in for a very large year. Uh, he's my wide receiver 14. Jake, he's your wide receiver 21. We talked a little bit before we started recording about how it's really hard to pick through some of these wide receivers sometimes because yep. they're all so good. What is it about DK Metcalf that brings him down for you? I just want to briefly state that I am still higher on DK Metcalf than Tony is on Devonta Smith. So I'm not the most egregious when it comes to ranking these <laughs> yeah. wide receivers here. Um, but my, my problem with DK is I feel like every year we're playing this DK Metcalf game of like, if this goes right, it's, he's going to take the step up. This this right here, you know, everything looked good last year. We just got to get this one switch flipped, um, which is it's fine. You can you can continue to chase that upside, and I'm totally I'm never going to knock somebody who has DK in this range of of wide receivers we're talking about him in. For me, my biggest concern basically falls down to the fact that they added JSN, they added Zach Charbonnet, so the 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 backfield is going to see a little bit more targets there. He's got some additional wide receiver competition for targets there. They love to run their three tight end sets, and they're not afraid to throw to them either. I just I struggle to see him maintain the target share that he had last year. And while I think he may see some regression, like you're talking about in the touchdown department, I just worry that that's canceled out by some of the overall targets that he loses a little bit. So while his touchdown rate may improve and he may, you know, get back into the range that we like him to be in, I'm just concerned about the overall offense being more willing to spread the ball out a little bit more this year. And that's, that's the only knock I can give on DK Metcalf. I think he's a really underrated receiver in a lot of ways, especially underrated as a route runner, considering how raw he was considered to be coming into the league just overall there's enough question marks that i have where I, I i just like a few other guys more to your credit jake you mentioned about their system and what they've really done previous to this like i am and you kind of have to bake in a little bit of a continuation of the change that mm. started to happen last year doing more through three wide receiver sets higher pace of play higher pass rate over expected you kind of have to bake in some more of that really happening and continuing um tim what do we think well i want to comment on jake's jake's rank real quick because he has him at 21 and i have uh hollywood brown at 21 and about three or four years ago i made a comparison about hollywood and dk's production being very much the same and it's kind of followed suit up until last year where the target volume is really a lot really close to the same. The catch volume is kind of the same as well as like the way in which they uh, end up producing on their targets in terms of depth and things like that. So I don't think 21 is egregious for DK, but there's a few reasons why I have him ranked higher is that I really believe in Geno Smith. I think that they are going to throw more even than they did last year. And I think that JSN only helps all the receivers get open. So I don't think that's a bad thing. DK DK's target share may even remain the same or go down or go back to how it was the year prior where it was more based on him getting some deeper conversions. And I don't think that's a bad thing. I think he actually offers then more weekly upside, which is something that you want out of your wide receiver too. And he finished his wide receiver 16 last year. So we're not doing anything out of the ordinary. We're not having him jump the shark, you know, six, seven spots to say, this is where he's going to finish or projecting this. No, he's actually done it. So I don't really have any doubts that DK is going to produce. It's just more or less how many touchdowns he's going to score, like you said, because if he scores more touchdowns, he could be in the top 12. I'm not going to say that. I'm not like going to put, like put it in, in into like stone that he's going to be there because I have a lot of faith in the other receivers. We've already talked about out producing him, but out of like the next, like, you know, six to eight players in our ranks, I don't really have any arguments for players to go above him. Yeah. 